Hey, I'm on 360 acres in Washita Parish, Louisiana. It's out in the uh, east part of the parish, uh, more north and east part of the parish. Here it is right here on Swartz Fairbanks Road. And here's Sterlington right here, Swartz right here. It's in the Sterlington School District by this much. This street right here, Topic Street, is the is the cutoff for the Sterlington School District. It, all this down here is Washita. Up here is Sterlington, just to give you an idea. So it is in Sterlington, a good blacktop frontage. That's a half a mile from there to there. Gate is right here at the corner. It's really well marked. If you happen to drive by there, there's signs uh, here at the southwest corner and here at the northwest corner and you'll see that metal that pipe gate there that's locked so you'll know you're in the right place but most of the pine is here where i'm kind of following it with my cursor along the south and west sides of the track it's a it's got about a half mile road frontage on swartz fairbanks road a blacktop road Uh, it's got development potential, uh, and it's the seller is going to put it out there uh, with uh, a pricing on it that that you know will leave some meat on the bone for a potential developer. It's uh, it's loaded with timber, on, especially on the uh, the east one third. Oh, excuse me, west one third of it, where the ground's a little higher by the blacktop. Um, there's a lot of uh, pine logs. You can see some of it in the background there. That's pretty indicative of the pine logs that are on it. Uh, there's a lot of small uh, hardwood logs. But there's some uh, beautiful 12-inch uh, white oak just scattered around everywhere. Um, it gets pretty flat in, in the, the east side of it there, um, back in the back. And uh, there's still some scattered big uh, scattered pine logs back there, but all of the blacktop is uh, is is pretty good ground. Uh, there are homes up and down this area right here, so the front could be developed pretty easily into uh, residential uh, home sites. Um, what else to tell you? It's been freshly surveyed, corners marked, lines very well marked. Uh, there's uh, trails uh, pretty much all through it, including a, a perimeter. Uh, trail. There's a decent gravel road that's running uh, through the pro for the a big part of the property, uh, kind of angling through it. You're gonna. There's standing water everywhere right now. We've had a lot of rain, and this place has always just been a timber track. So there's no ditching done at all. So even the, you know that that rock road there is uh, is passable as it is. I mean it's good ground, good hard road. You know there's water standing in spots everywhere, and where I am out here, uh, there's water standing in the in the in the road, just because there's just never been any ditching. There's just been no way for the, you know anything done for the water to get off of it. Uh, anyway, take a look at it. It could, like I say, a development track or a large rural home site. If you're looking for a place that uh, you want to build a nice home and then have, you know, a few hundred acres here that you can uh, hunt on and, and let the kids uh, run loose on four wheelers, this is it. I personally seen deer and turkey on it. Just saw a couple of hens cross the road there a few minutes ago. Saw a couple of hens on it yesterday. Uh, it's it's going to be a little bit gamey. Um, it's the water could get off of here a lot easier if just a little bit of ditching were done and i've actually seen uh, the owner was showing me how the water tends to try to run anyway to get into a larger drainage ditch north of it but there's just no way for it to get in it needs just a little bit of work over just a short distance for a bunch of water to be able to get off of this place so anyway take a look at it 360 acres swartz fairbanks road uh, on our website, it's in Washita Parish, Louisiana, and our, our website, of course, is recland.net. And uh, I will uh, hopefully, be, even before you got to this point, somewhere in here, I will have cut in some other video and stuff to give you an idea of kind of just what it looks like. But you're seeing a lot of the, the pretty much the, the timber that's all over it. You're seeing it kind of in this area as I've been moving around, uh, the pine logs and the uh, 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 just smaller hardwood logs. Uh, the understory looks pretty healthy and there's good, pretty good stuff growing on this higher ground here. You know, these, these white oaks. So that tells me that the ground's a little higher. 
Uh, it was probably clear cut when it was cut years ago. So anyway, it's a decent little track. Take a look at it. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,